guys. Polar vortex. Here we go. Let's do this. Get this workout in. This workout. Look at this. We are right in the middle of the polar vortex. Man, I'm so excited. Actually, this fires me up. Look at all this snow. Right in the middle of the polar vortex. Rise and grind. It's about 4.30 in the morning. And this is how we do this. Push yourself. That's what we got to do here. Motivation. So, rise and grind. I, I do this episode to do more about motivation. Things like that. Look at that. But let me reconnect here. We'll do, uh, once we get inside, we'll connect and do the video in the gym. So I want to do a quick video about the DevOps Cloud Engineer. And in DevOps, it's an amazing career growing really fast. It's only been around for about a few years, I want to say. And it's growing in demand so fast. So the average entry-level salary right now, when I did the research towards the beginning of the year, is around $132,000. Now that's up from where it was six months prior to that, where it was around $99,000 dollars a year and this is entry level folks so a devops cloud engineer what they do is they basically make sure that code is being deployed across environments and you help set up environments and things like that and if you don't know what environments are well that's one thing to learn which is that developers that are developing their code for say let's say a website or an app it needs to be hosted on a server but the stuff that they do doesn't go to production right away, meaning it doesn't go live in front of the public. It, it's only accessible to the group of developers. So that's called a development environment. So that's one environment. Then you have testers. You know how I talk about QA testing and being a QA tester? That same code that existed in the development environment then needs to move that set of code needs to move into the test environment. So the DevOps cloud engineer is in charge and responsible for moving that code from development environment to the test environment so the testers can work on it. If you're a QA tester, which I talk about a lot, you operate from the test environment. And then, so say, and I'll just make this uh, a simple example. So then say the testing goes good and it's uh, ready to go live in front of the public. So then that code goes to the production environment. So now you got a code set that's over here in production and this is where the public is able to see the website, the app, whatever uh, you guys are working with. So it goes from development environment where the coders are to the test environment where the testers are to production environment where your customers are or public, whatever you want to call them. And it goes from one, two, three. So the DevOps cloud engineer is making sure that the code is being, the word is called deployed. So the code is being deployed from develop to test to production. And if there's any issue along the way, like an error report, there's something wrong with the code or this didn't build properly, um, there's an error, create a bug and, and, and schedule that with the development team to, to resolve the issue. So the DevOps cloud engineer is a part of managing code deployments that go across each environment. There is some scripting involved, so you want to be uh, knowledgeable of scripting, servers, some understanding of coding, but you're not really coding day to day. A lot of the stuff is working with the console and what we call like a dashboard. And, uh, but you need to have a good understanding. So the thing is, is that you don't have to be a guru. You don't have to be somebody that's coding 100% of the time, yet you're still getting paid quite a bit. You know, 130,000 for entry level is a really good income. So I wanted to do this quick video and give you that tip. All right guys, peace. Just 